In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your teaching space and how to get great lighting for your classroom. Hey guys, I'm Christina and I release videos every single Monday on the topic of teaching English online and my goal is to get you hired. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification so you don't miss the next video. Okay, so let's jump right into it. The first thing you need to look for when you're looking for a teaching space, you need to find a place that is quiet and clean. Remember that the students are coming from school and this is an after school class that they're taking the English class online. So you want to make sure that you're not teaching in a cluttered area because they are already tired from school. So you don't want anything to distract them for them not to focus on you. So make sure you avoid any messy environment and also messy backgrounds. Um, my recommendation and what I've been using for the past two years has been a map. I like to use either a strictly USA map or just a world map. I would recommend getting a world map because you can always you know, show a picture of the Canadian American flag and the Chinese flag. And what I like about the map is that it's portable. I can always take this with me when I'm traveling. And I'll tell you a benefit about having the map is that it's pretty inexpensive. You can find a map like this at Walmart, Target, or even Dollar Tree. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. That's one of the questions that a lot of people ask me. Is it going to cost a lot of money for me to set up my background? And no, it doesn't have to. I found mine on Amazon, I believe. So now when, when we are going to set up the background, you want to make sure you keep it around your frame, the frame of your face. Always keep it around that space. Because when you're going to put your laptop or your computer, you want to have it around um, this level so that the student can see you. If you're teaching standing up, just be aware of that. If you're going to teach sitting down, you can always have a high chair so that it is angled towards the map in the back. But always try to have it where they, they cannot see the borders if you can do that. I'm obviously using it a little bit outward so you guys can see, but you can keep it just around the frame of your face and your shoulders. That should be fine. Also, if your teaching space doesn't have a background, a concrete background, you can use a three-part poster board, that the ones that you use in school for projects. I would recommend getting that and gluing or attaching a map to it. You can fold it in threes and it can serve as your background. It would actually fit very well around the frame of your face. So if you can use that to kind of cover the space up or use a tripod and put that map over it because it looks very clean and focus on you and just a background. Um, if you are very artistic and you would like to do projects, there is that. But since you're trying to just get hired, I would recommend get yourself a map and don't worry about trying to do all this decoration. You can do this later. Just purchase the map, put it on your background and you are done. Another great thing to keep in mind when you're looking for a space to teach, you might want to look for a place that is close to your router. It is recommended to teach with an ethernet cable. So this is a cable that's connected to your router and it has a cord that you can connect to your laptop. And this allows you to get the highest internet speed as you're teaching. For me, for example, my internet speed is usually anywhere between 30 uh, megabytes upload and download. But when I connect my computer to the ethernet cable, I get anywhere from 80 to 90 megabytes per second, I believe, <laughs> megabytes. So this really boosts your internet speed. So you want to make sure that you invest into something like this. I'll have a link in the description box for that as well. If you're not close to the router, you can get a, a long cable. When I was back in the States, I was using a really long cable that ran all around the house and it was able to give me the highest speed wherever I was in the house. So I would recommend you invest in this because it will definitely help you. Now, let's go into where I am teaching. I usually use um, this desk. I'm going to show you my desk. I love that it has this top part where I can work from here, um, standing up. And it also has this area right here where I could also sit down and just work from this side as well. So I do like having both. If you guys, you know, are going to teach in an office at home, I think this is really a great thing to invest into because you'll have an area to work, you know, standing up if you want to, or you can sit down as well. So I do recommend this one. I'll put the link in the description box um, for you guys. 
I also want to recommend that you want to set up your background before you do your interview and before you do your demo lesson or mock lesson. You always want to do that before because you want your first impression, your first visual communication with the company to be that you have your teaching space set up already. That lets them know that you're already prepared and you're ready to teach. I hope this is helping you so far. If it is, please let me know by hitting the like button right now. So now that we have the background, we have the desk, the next part is for you to have great lighting. One of the things the companies are looking for when you're starting to teach English online is for you to have even lighting. This means no shadows. So if you see me right now, I have absolutely no shadows around, so this is perfect. But if you're teaching early in the morning or really late at night, you might experience some shadows. So how do you get great lighting? You want to start with positioning your light in different areas. You want to have one that's positioned in front of you. You want to have one on your right and one on your left, if that is possible for you. If you have ceiling lights at your house and they are in an area where you can teach, try to position yourself right under it, not behind it, right in front of it or right on it so that it can give you the bright white light on your face so it will brighten you up naturally and actually reduce the shadows. So let me give you some tips on what lighting you should be using for your classroom. You can use a regular lamp, but if you already have lights at your house, lamps, like I said, just use those, but change the light bulb to make sure that it is LED so you're brighter. You wanna make sure that the lights are not yellow and that they are bright enough so that they can see your face even if it is early or late in the evenings. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of what the light looks like at night. So right now I have a shadow, so this is what you want to avoid, this shadow. But usually I am teaching standing up, so I want to show you what it looks like. So let's say I'm in a dark room, I just have one light over my head, and I turn on this. You see how bright it looks? This is what you're looking for. You're looking for basically this bright light right here. Now, if you do get a shadow, I don't know if you can see a shadow in the back. If you do get a shadow, the first thing you want to do is invest in another light, like I said, on this side. So you remove the shadow, and then you just use this light right here. So you'll have this light and this light to remove the shadow from you. If you still have another shadow, you might want to use another light. I'm gonna use my ring light here to kind of show you that you can use another one. It depends, because some of them can actually create shadow. So you might want to put it a little bit further so you don't get big shadows around you. So if you do get the shadow, try to go to put it a little bit further so it can take a bigger space. Um, these are three lights, but you don't need to have all three. Like I said, you just want to make sure that you have a space that's well lit, so you have that. Okay, so what does my teaching space look like after getting great lighting, having a good background, and a great teaching space? Let me show you what it looks like when it's done. This is basically all the teaching supplies I use. I basically have a whiteboard, we have some markers. Um, you do need a mouse. There's a lot of activities that you'll need to tell the students to click. So you wanna have a mouse, so that is helpful. So you can show them how to. I always use the alphabet cards. I think they're very helpful because they have pictures on them and they'll give you both big and small letters so that you can explain that to the child when you have lessons about that. Um, this is just a puzzle that I found that I use for a uh, reward system and depending on which company that you are working for, you might have to use a reward system and I like to use this sometimes where I just you know, pop it out and give it to the kid, they love that. Obviously, you have to check out the age. This is my light. Also, my light over here as well. And um, I have a puppet, always. This is great for students 
that are nonverbal, meaning that they're not speaking English yet and they may not respond in class. So this really helps them come out of their shell and kind of laugh and, you know, just have fun in class. I always have my world map with me. I love to show them where China is, show them where America is. And um, I also have all of my more props and more uh, teaching supplies that I have here. You can use those mummy finger, daddy finger, and then there's uh, little animals that you can put them on your finger and show it to a child. This is another monkey. So I use that and this is my laptop where I teach with uh, the ring light right here or just the regular light that I use and my ear ethernet cable and also something that a lot of people don't have which i really would recommend you look into is getting something like this your camera protector i think that's what you called it uh, this is really good when you start class uh, you might have to log into the class but you don't want the student to see you you can just close this and you know nobody can see you so yeah this is what i use my cable i have my headsets on right now let me show you i always like to get headsets that have uh, a mute button for you this is really good when you're teaching and let's say you need to cough or somebody is talking to you you don't want them to hear it's always great to be able to mute you can also raise the volume or lower the volume so it's really good so this is my teaching setup what do you think i hope this video gave you an overview of how to set up your teaching space and how to get great lighting for your classroom if it did make sure you hit the like button it really helps my channel and share this video with anybody that you think needs to set up their space if you're not already following me on instagram make sure you do so at christina kleska i share my teaching and traveling journey there also if you want to see my traveling setup make sure you check out this video right here and subscribe to this channel so you can see more all right i'll see you in the next video goodbye